Hey guys, welcome to another week here at the beginner's course and today we're going to go through some uh, back takes from the turtle position. Uh, super nice and easy. This is the one I show always uh, to my beginners classes and uh, yeah, basic and easy. Uh, Christian is in turtle and like we talked about last week is how to get to his back. So if you want to check that out, make sure to check out last week's video. So I stepped around and I got to his back here, okay? A couple of important parts or uh, concepts here is that I'm always trying to put my weight on top of Christian, right? And of course, uh, he's gonna try to move or roll and do some things and I have to know when to do uh, different reactions, right? So watch how my toe is on the mat here and putting my hips into his hips. My other foot here is on the side, always pushing in towards him here, okay? So we're just gonna turn in towards the camera so you guys can see. So here, what I'm looking for is to grab his opposite wrist there on the other side, okay? And I wanna bring it close to his chest. So I really wanna tuck this one tight to his chest here, okay? What I'm gonna do now with the other free hand here is I'm gonna go in front of his face, and if I can, I would love to cross face Christian here. I want to make him look the other way here, okay? Sometimes he might look up and give me his neck, which is fine because it is, it's gonna let me go in for a choke quite uh, well afterwards, right? But now I wanna do the cross face and watch how I'm trying to grab his shoulder here, okay? So now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna move this leg and I'm gonna step it a little bit closer to him and press my knee to the floor here, okay? So what I'm trying to do now is I'm gonna push my knee underneath him and pull Christian on top of me. So with this cross face here, and pulling Christian on top of me and watch how this leg becomes my first hook and then I can place my top hook right after, okay? Very important here, this knee has to go far forward here, like it has to be close to his head. If I'm putting my knee too far behind here and I try to pull a little bit this side and I try to pull him here, watch how my leg it's stuck underneath his thigh here, okay? So this is what I don't want to happen. So, go back up. What I want to make sure of is that my knee is coming forward here, so when I'm pulling Christian on top of me, my foot is free to hook between his legs here, okay? So, here, back on the top, a little bit to the middle. So I got the wrist control, I got the cross face, my knee comes to the floor, and I'm gonna use a little bit of that momentum to get to the back here, okay? Straight away, if I can, I will go straight for his neck. There's a couple of things like call across uh, collar here, or just straight for a rear naked choke, right? Or you could grab palm to palm, press your elbow in, and you have a nice choke there as well, okay? One more time here. So, grabbing the opposite wrist, cross face, Watch how I'm stepping this foot in and bringing my knee to the floor. Okay, here, collar, go for the rear naked choke or anything else, right? Okay guys, so we're gonna go a little bit further here. We're gonna do a, a jack routine or guillotine uh, made famous, I guess, by Jack Harmonson in the UFC. So they started calling it jack routine. Uh, so it's an arming guillotine, uh, and so uh, a couple of weeks ago, it was last week, I don't remember, uh, we did uh, without the arm inside, so this is a little bit different, and uh, we're going to start from the turtle position here, I'm in the front, of course what I'm looking first for is the head and arm control here, right, and like I did before, I'm trying to isolate this arm close to his head, so I'm really trying to push his shoulder tight to his neck here, okay, so to do that, I'm just gonna repeat myself. I'm gonna grab palm to palm, cable grip here, and I'm gonna pull his elbow in here, okay? And a second thing that I'm looking for is to angle Christian a little bit here. So uh, if you can look towards the camera. So watch how his knee is here, okay? If I can pull him a little bit to the side, suddenly there's a little gap here, okay? And what I'm trying to do is pull myself underneath him and go into this gap, okay? So, what you're gonna notice is I'm pulling Christian a little bit to the side here, okay? So when I'm here, 
I'm gonna do the same old grip here where I'm grabbing his tricep and pulling tight. So now I can freely move this leg here underneath. It doesn't have to be with the foot in between. You could just put your knee underneath like this, okay? This is fine too, but if you can, just sit up. You could also go for having the leg in between his legs here, okay? So that's fine too. Important part, the other leg comes above on top of his back and this prevents him from jumping over to this side here, okay? So, here I made space and now I'm gonna dive under and come in here, okay? So now, watch how Christian's arm is tied to his neck here, okay? At no point is Christian's arm on this side of my body, okay? Now it's totally different. Now I have to fight for the, the one without the arm, right? Okay, so just the neck. But with the arm, I have to make sure his arm is on this side pressing in towards his neck here, okay? So when I'm closing the space here, I want to make sure that I'm pushing his shoulder in towards his neck and my arm goes deep on the other side here, okay? So here, I can really use the side of my ribs, side of my ribs to put pressure through his arm into his neck, okay? So yes, my arm goes really deep and my arm does a lot of the work, but it's also my body moving in and tightening the space. And of course, like every other guillotine, I have to make sure my shoulder doesn't drop to the mat here, okay? I want to make sure my shoulder comes up and I'm really squeezing. So. Again, from the setup here, I got his arm in and I'm isolating his arm, okay? So now I'm just making sure that I have this space here so I can move underneath it, okay? So now to squeeze, I'm not pulling backwards like this, okay? I'm making sure I'm squeezing and tightening my body here, okay? Also, watch this. If I'm just holding his head but my legs are straight here, watch how Christian can jump over to my left side, yes. And most likely I'm gonna lose the choke and maybe uh, lose the fight because he gets a good position, okay? So make sure to always throw that leg over and block him from jumping, okay? Thank you guys for watching. Please make sure to like and subscribe. As always, hope you guys loved it. Peace. Hey guys, welcome to another week here, beginner's course. And today we're gonna go a little bit further on the turtle attacks or top turtle attacks. And uh, we're gonna start off with a super nice and easy back take. Uh, so starting uh, from the turtle position here. So last week we went through how to go to uh, Christian's back here. So for those of you that don't uh, remember or didn't check it out, please do, right? So here I got to his back and now I'm behind his shoulders here, okay? So first off a little bit about the position, right? Uh, Christian is not gonna stay here uh, statically the whole time most likely there's a couple of reactions he's gonna do uh, but I have to be uh, like a little bit reactive and know what to do when he does different things okay so watch how I'm putting my weight on top of Christian here okay so I'm not really using this knee on the floor and putting all my weight on this knee I'm really trying to be on my toes here and push him with his leg in towards him so I'm always right beside his hips here glued to his hips okay on the other side here so we're just gonna turn to the camera so on the other side here, I'm gonna to try to reach for his wrist, okay? So what I want to is grab his wrist and I'm gonna bring it tight to his chest here, okay? This will give me a lot of control to start turning his upper body and getting that back take that I want to do, okay? So now I got this control. Now I'm gonna go for a cross face with this free arm here, okay? So what I'm looking to do, I'm looking to make him look the other way and I'm gonna grab his shoulder on the opposite side here, okay? This is perfect. If I can get this, sometimes they're gonna look up, they're gonna give me kind of the neck here, which is also really good because it gives me a choking position straight away after I take his back, but most likely they're gonna be a little bit resisting and give you that kind of like a chin uh, here, right? So I can really twist their neck. So here, now I got the control, and at the same time, I'm gonna be stepping with this foot here. So I'm gonna step a little bit closer. I'm gonna bring my knee to the floor here, almost right beside his head here, okay? This is gonna be my first hook underneath uh, Christian, okay? 
So I'm here, I got my knee to the floor, and now I'm gonna push this leg underneath him while I'm pulling him on top of me here, okay? So watch how this leg becomes the first hook, and then I get my second hook straight away, okay? I can go straight for a choke, different things for sure, okay? So looking at the position here again, I grab Christian's wrist, and now going for the cross face, grabbing his shoulder, and I'm gonna drop my knee at the same time. Pull him over, get my first hook, and then my second one, okay? Super easy back take, very beginner friendly. Let me do it on the other side here. So, grabbing the wrist, I'm gonna go for the cross face, and watch this, it's a little bit of a momentum because as soon as I drop my knee, I'm already pulling and bringing him on top of me, okay? So, what I like to think is always when I'm going for the cross face, I'm going for the knee drop and pulling him on top of me at the same time, okay? So it's not a move that you can stop and think about too much. It's more of a thing you do and don't try it, you do it, right? So here, go for the choke you like, anything like this, and there you go. Nice and easy back take. Oops. Okay guys, so we're gonna go a little bit further here, and uh, this time we're gonna go for an uh, arm and guillotine. Uh, also known as the Jack Routine, so uh, it was recently made super famous by Jack Hermanson in the UFC. Uh, again, amazing fighter, and so we're gonna try to replicate what he does in his fights here, okay? So we're gonna start with the turtle position here, nice and easy, and uh, like we did last week, what I'm looking is to isolate his arm close to his head here, okay? So to do that, I'm gonna go pump, pump, bring my elbow in, and try to pull his elbow super tight to the other side here, okay? The second thing you're gonna notice, uh, let's look at the camera here just quickly. So, like I told you guys, I'm gonna try to do this. But watch how I'm trying to create a little gap between his knee and his shoulder here. So this is, this is the gap where I'm trying to slide underneath Christian here, okay? So if you feel like he's too far in front and there's no space to dive in, then try to pull him a little bit further so that you have enough space to get under, okay? So, from the start here, I got his elbow to the side. I can grab his tricep with this hand here now. I like to save it and put my other hand on top. But what I'm trying to do now is I'm trying to bring this leg here underneath. And you don't have to put your foot in between uh, like a twister hook. You can just put your knee like this, right? That's fine too. If you want to go all the way deep with your leg, of course, it depends a little bit on the size of the guy or if you timed it well or not. This is also super fine, okay? So this other leg, I'm gonna throw it over his hip to block him from jumping over, okay? So if I just had my leg straight, this would be super easy for him to defend. He would just walk right to my side and I will lose the choke, okay? So I got tight here and I'm in, okay? So now going for the choke, remember to always have his arm on the side of your body, okay? So if it's on the other side here, give me arm here, you did something wrong and you might have to go for a normal uh, arm out guillotine, right? Uh, like we did a couple of weeks ago. But in this case, I'm trying to push his arm in towards his neck here, okay? So having my legs here, I'm really trying to stay tight to his neck, okay? So I'm gonna show you guys without him for a second here. So to do that, I'm gonna bring my arm tight to me. So that means my arm goes as deep as possible around his neck and around his arm. I'm gonna bring it tight to me and watch how my shoulder doesn't go to the floor like this. This is a very common uh, reaction or a first uh, beginner's kind of first mistake. You try to pull upwards and bring your shoulder back. But what do you wanna do? You wanna squeeze and compress. So you wanna bring your shoulder up here and stay tight, okay? Also, I'm using my ribs or the side of my body to press in towards his arm. So I'm really trying to compress here, okay? So here, got the position, sliding under, and now using my body to squeeze, okay? It's a very fast submission, and like an experience, I feel like if you haven't gotten it the first five or 10 seconds, then the 
chances of getting it are very slim and you might have to adjust and, or set it up differently one more time, okay? So here, boom, sliding under and staying tight and pulling this arm to you, okay? So super basic, but again, it works uh, at the top level. Uh, please check out Jack Hermanson's fights to see how it's done properly there in the fights. Plus, 